We do give honor to God our Father, to our Savior and our Lord Christ Jesus, the Anointed One, and to Holy Spirit, whom the Lord has given to lead God, aid, and assist us in this earth realm. I thank God for Holy Spirit. It is He who is navigating us along this journey. Amen. We do give honor to uh, every leader in your respective places and uh, to our guests, visitors, and friends, parishioners, and those of you that are watching through God and we have the internet. We bless the Lord for you uh, this morning. Um, I was, um, uh, last week, just kind of tossing between uh, two messages, and the other message just may blend in. There's something about a, a preacher that can't keep nothing good, <laughs> like a broken down refrigerator, amen? And um, one mind was to, uh, and I know it's going to come forth, is dealing with the high places of our mind. And, uh, but I believe that this uh, scriptures that, that we're going to read here is going to summarize some things in terms of what Chuck Pierce have shared with us. And I didn't know uh, uh, what was in that letter. Dr. Sandra began to read a portion of it, and I think she got through a couple of sentences when we was in the office and uh, when I... Uh, was listening for uh, Elder Terrence. He had stopped praying. I said, I gotta go. And so, but uh, she read it in our midst. So I wanna draw your attention to Galatians, the fourth chapter. And we're gonna look at uh, seven verses and then we would draw our text. Amen? Amen. And this is the New King James Version. When you find it, say amen. amen. Notice what it says beginning at, beginning at verse 1. It says, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ from, does not differ at all from a slave though he is master of all. The second verse says, but is under guardians, a guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father. Even so we, somebody say, even so we, even so when we were children were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son born of a woman Born under the law. Somebody say under the, law. under the law. To redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons. Look at your neighbor say you are a son. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. And our heart is the, the throne of our heart is where he rule and reign. Amen. Amen. Crying out of a father. The seventh verse says, as we conclude these scriptures, uh, therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. And from the fourth verse, uh, we draw our text. But when the fullness of time has come, and that's what we want to leave with you, when the fullness of time has come. The fullness of time has come. Um, somebody may wonder why uh, a message like this is coming forth, and I want to tell you the reason why it's coming forth. Uh, we've been hearing a lot of messages that the Lord has been speaking to us to encourage our heart in terms of the times and season that we're in. And uh, we always uh, base all of the messages from uh, that the Lord has encouraged us that we are king priests. Somebody say you're a king and a priest. A king and, a priest. and we know that uh, that the uh, king has authority in this earth realm uh -huh. and the priest has authority or influence with heaven. Isn't that right? Yes. So um, even at your worst, glory be to God, you still yet is a king priest. And we're going to explain that it is, 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 is that uh, in our time of prayer or our time of interceding, we're interceding between heaven and earth. Somebody say between heaven and earth. Between so we're dealing with two different laws. Isn't that right? 
two different laws, two different natures. And so um, when we begin to intercede as a priest and we begin to hear from heaven, somebody say hear from heaven. Hear we're able to declare and decree what heaven has sanctioned in this earth realm pertaining to that particular time or season that we're in. Amen. I want you to hone in on your season. We're not honing in on nobody else. We won't hone in on the government, which we can. We won't hone in on our United States. But I want you to hone in on your season. And, um, um, and so it's so important to understand that uh, since we've been born again, he said we are an heir. Yes. God is not an Indian giver. If you're an heir, you're an heir. Amen. amen. And, and his promises is still yes and amen. 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 Uh, his, 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 his promises towards us, praise God, he never changes his mind. So therefore, an heir is a successor, inheritor, a beneficiary or a recipient. And we are bef beneficiaries and recipients to everything that Christ has suffered, bled, died and risen for. Look at your neighbor and say, you're an heir. There's times I didn't feel like no heir. You hear me what I'm saying? Last year was a was a bumpy road for me and my family. Very bumpy. And, and, and if the truth will be told, I think some of us are still kind of feeling some things, uh, uh, sensing some things or feeling some things. But we know that the helper, which is the Holy Spirit, is there to aid and assist us. Uh, the anniversary of our father was going to be is going to be within a few days when he left to go home. Praise the Lord. So so it, is, it has been very challenging. And, and uh, not only uh, as we was caretaking for him, I kind of sort of getting ahead of myself. But uh, but I was going through some things and I was I was coming out of uh, out of one sphere in terms of influence, a way of thinking into another uh, in terms of my uh, my health is concerned. And so um, uh, you guys are my witnesses. Uh, I am much, much better than what I used to be. It's because of the mere fact uh, not only uh, am I my heir to the, uh, you know, to everything that Christ suffered, bled, died and risen for. And watch this It's more than just uh, uh, finances. Amen. But it's pertaining to our health, too. Yes, yes. Amen. And if you don't do nothing, you don't get nothing. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. And just as we have to research, amen, literature and information and, and so forth and so on and pull it all together to make sense out of it so that we can ride on it. We yet need to do the same thing also for our health. Now, that was just a commercial. You don't have to pay anything for it. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, we got to do something. We got to do something. You know, it's not good to be an heir and you all broken down and you cannot enjoy everything that God has given us in this earth realm. Amen. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Yeah. Praise the Lord. So we got to do something. We got to do something. So I, I just kind of got a, a sort of uh, stuck there. So therefore, an heir is a successor, uh, 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 inheritor, beneficiary and a recipient. And that's and that is pertaining to the things or to the, uh, uh, the things of Christ Jesus. The word of God says that he had made us. He had translated us into his kingdom. Isn't that right? Uh, we now sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so we rule the reign from that perspective. We rule the reign from that perspective. If I try to rule here with with an earth mind, I will always be defeated. This is where I will get into arguments. I will get into uh, theoretical point of views. Uh, I will get into uh, uh, different type of semantics of word to try to empower myself to make myself sound good and try and hope that whoever's hearing me will buy into it. But if I function from that position of the kingdom, come on, how many know that's a different mindset? And that's what Christ Jesus was trying to do. His disciples uh, before he left was to elevate their way of thinking. Somebody say elevate your way of thinking. Elevate Amen. Your way. Our way of thinking have to be elevated. If not, praise God, we we're going to be limited to our resources. And we know that we're in a time and season where the Lord God uh, has spoken through by his spirit that we're in a season of unlimited access. Amen. Yes. Unlimited access is to resources that is in this earth realm. I mean, that heaven has. And basically, we want heaven to touch earth. So the second verse says and um, it says, but is under God, uh, God, guardians and uh, stewards until the time appointed by the father. And I was looking at the guardians and basically mean uh, protector, custodian, caretaker of a person. And all of us, we was children and whoever was a custodian uh, was uh, they had to protect us. Yes. Amen. They had to. They was the caretaker caretaker uh, over us. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Watch this. And so uh, and we look at the word stewards. The steward is basically an overseer. Mm -hmm. 
And there's two different uh, 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 things going on here. Uh, the guardian is there to to take care of us. And the steward is to oversee the estate and manage of our property. <coughs> and I'm going to just put this in here. When we're born into the United States, they assign to us a social security number. Right. I, I, maybe I better leave that alone. <laughs> 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 I'll let I'll let Minister Neal uh, dwell on that. He can go there. And, and so, but we 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 receive a, we receive a Social Security number. And watch this. And when you get that Social Security number, uh, you don't realize the wealth that is on you. Every American is worth millions and millions of dollars. But when we get that Social Security number, and we go through all the rhetoric, I don't I shouldn't say rhetoric, but all their uh, governmental rules is saying that. Uh, uh, that we sign our rights over them to manage our money. Yeah. The prisons are making money off of people. Yes. Yeah. Well. Where that money coming from? Well. <laughs> They're telling you fake news that it's coming from nonprofit organization. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> so, so okay, break it down. So therefore. Uh, the enemy will try to, uh, he would try to be a guardian over us. He would try to oversee our affairs as far as our estate and the properties that the Lord has given us. And we all are king priests, glory be to God. Whatever we hear from heaven as a priest, we're able to now to declare it as a king in this earth realm. And watch this. The word of God says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So therefore, whatever the father has sanctioned, whatever the father has spoken, when we release it from that perspective, we should expect a manifestation. Yes. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Yes. It regardless of whatever season that you might be in uh, uh, there, when we get the mind of God. See, that's the point. When we get the mind of God. Easy said than done, but when we get the mind of God, then it's saying that we have elevated from earth thinking to kingdom thinking. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And this is where the scripture said that whatever you declare to be improper and unlawful or whatever you declare to be proper and lawful in heaven and heaven must be what is already there. Right. And so as we understand the, you know, the, the, the kingdom government, somebody say kingdom government. kingdom government. We can't be afraid of the word government because that's what Jesus did. I'm getting ahead of myself again. When Jesus came, he introduced a different government. He introduced a government within a government because his government was to dethrone the government of the broken system. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Dethrone, man, watch this. Dethrone the government that the enemy has set up in our head. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Yes. Glory be to God. But thank God for Jesus. Yes. That when he came, he said, I come not to do my will, but I come to do the will of him that sent me. Yes. That sent me. Yes. And how many of us, uh, as we was raised up and when, when we went through, uh, you know, I talked about years ago, the three levels of uh, disciples. You have, the, you have the first level disciple, second level disciple. And the third level disciple. Well, the first level disciple, we call them the, 23, uh, the uh, uh, Psalms 23. Yes. All they do is eat and sleep and follow. Wow. All right, I heard that. <laughs> eat, sleep, and follow. <laughs> eat, sleep, and follow. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> eat, sleep, and follow. And so, and, and, and so now, uh, now the second level is steward. Uh, when a person become a steward, then they're saying that they are trustworthy. Somebody say trustworthy. 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 So, so, uh, so they become trustworthy uh, over the affairs of the person who is overseeing them. They can trust them now. And uh, 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 I have relatives who have worked uh, in the jails and, and in the prisons. And once a person uh, that, that, uh, 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 within the prison system proved himself... Then uh, uh, I forget the proper name that they call them. What they call them? Uh, trustee. trustee. They call them trustee. But what, they can be trusted at this level now. Yes. 
they proved themselves. There's a distinct difference between them and, uh, 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 in terms of where they are now and where they was before. Yes. So now they are trusted and they can trust them with something. Yes. And so watch this. So uh, when the word of God come to us, when we hear from the word of the Lord, then the Lord is trusting us with his affairs. He's trusting us with the ability. He's trusting us with his power. He's trusting us to be established. Amen. His kingdom in this earth realm. But is up under uh, uh, guardians and stewards until the time appointed of the father. And so this message basically is to encourage us. We all go through stuff. Yeah. Have you ever gotten your vehicle stuck before? I have. And there's times I couldn't get it out by myself. I had to go get some help. Yes. Amen. Because I was stuck, I did not file homestead exemption. Come on. It was just part of the process. Amen. Uh, watch this. It, it was part of the process. I couldn't, I couldn't get off the path because the, main, the, the, the thing is this, is that the Lord is trying to get something to me. Yes. He's trying to watch this. Look at somebody and say, the Lord trying to get something to you. I don't know what season you're in, but he's trying to get something to you. Yes. Remember, remember, watch this. Remember when the king, um, the king had a dream. And, you know, I make reference to this from time to time. The king had a dream talking about Joseph. Joseph was in prison at this time. The king had a dream. And all of his wise people and so forth and so on, they could not interpret the dream. But this one guy who was a servant, he was the uh, uh, a cup bearer, wasn't he? He remembered Joseph. Watch this. The Lord set up a need in the king. And the need that the king had, uh, 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 where the need that was in the king, it needed or it relied or God fixed it so his representative can share with him. And when he shared with him that... At that point, there was a dimension of the kingdom of God that was being infiltrated yeah, all right. in the king because the king had the power in the earth realm to declare and to decree. Yes. My God. What are you saying? I don't care what you're going through with. If you're going to look always for saints or Christians to get your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hate I hate to break the news to you. It ain't going to happen. It, 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 it's just not going to happen. But what will happen is when the Lord began to reveal himself and he set up a need and he revealed himself and you begin to act upon it. The Lord is trusting you. Watch this. We want the Lord to give us breakthrough. But can but can the Lord give us breakthrough out of the box? We're still trying to keep God in the box. Lord I'm, Lord, I'm believing you for this. I said, yeah, but I'm trying to get it to you, but, but I need you to step out of the box. Yeah. Lord, I got this prophetic word, blah, 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 it hasn't come to pass yet, and Lord, I even sowed a seed on it, it hasn't come to pass. I'm trying to get it to you, but I need you to step out of the box. I need you to step off the ship and walk on the water. I need you to stand before the Red Sea and use what I have given you. Yes. I need you to bear the ark before the river. And before your foot touch the water, the water is going to. See, we look at, watch this. We're looking for simple ways. And God's ways are simple. But we complicate it here. Are you understand what I'm saying? And we complicate it by, by traditions. We complicate it by things that we have grown to become seasoned in. Yeah. But what if the Lord is trying to take you out of that season that you become seasoned in into another season? Yeah. I can't bring winter into summer. It just won't happen. Yeah. Won't happen. Won't happen. It's a different season. Somebody say different season. Different season. Amen. So, so watch this. He says, the third verse says, even so we, when we were... Children, we were in bondage under the elements of this world. We was in bondage to the elements of this world. In other words, we was in bondage to the broken system. You hear me what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I love the Matrix. You don't need to buy me the DVDs. I have the DVDs. I have it on Netflix. I have it on not 8-track, but what they call the VHS. I got it. 
Yeah, so, yeah. So, but, but, but I love the matrix because watch this. He was born into a system. But something within him, something within him couldn't rest with it. But he had to function in it. He had to go to work. He had to go to the grocery store. But his eye gate, he was seeing two dimensions and didn't, and didn't know it. What he was seeing caused a restlessness within him. He's on that computer and one thing to the other. But well, watch this. When the Lord see that you are activating yourself, you are pressing your way. You are breaking up the final ground. You are plowing. He's not going to let you do it by yourself. When he see that you are pressing into the impossibility, faith is going to arise to the occasion. Matter of fact, faith loves the impossibility. How many of us are dealing with some impossibility that the enemy told you is not going to happen? Do like this. Just, just, just tell the enemy, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So, but until, but until we get the, get the revelation, we're going to be up under that system. We are slaves. And, and it was talking about Jesus, even himself. Jesus, Jesus was born into this broken system, right? But he did not allow it to overtake him. He was up under the, the, the governors and tutors, according to uh, uh, the uh, King James Version, until the time was appointed. He was born uh, uh, there by a woman uh, up under the law. Yeah. Amen. He was born up under the law. And watch this. He went where the problem was, up under the law. <laughs> where we was, yeah. up under the law. No, no, no. To get us from up under the law. So that we can buy and function in uh, the kingdom principles. The fourth verse says, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son born of a woman born under the law to redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption of son. See, the problem is uh, if we're not careful, our weird thinking when the Lord is trying to get something to us. If we're not careful, we we go back to that old Egypt mentality of way of thinking or we go back up under that slavery mentality of thinking. We go back up under the law. OK. And I can speak concerning myself. When I had missed it, I felt so unworthy. Come on. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Prophetic word come to me and blah, blah, blah. Man, man. But they don't understand, man. I missed it last night. I missed it yesterday. I missed it last month. How? Watch. God's view towards me had never changed. It's the enemy that's trying to rearrange up here in the high places. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Glory be to God. So, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, under the law, to redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. Watch this. He sent forth Jesus into our heart. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. Now, Jesus uh, uh, sits on the throne of our heart. Somebody say he occupied the thrones of our heart. Yeah, he the of our heart. Yes. Yes. He occupied the throne. of our heart. Now we're going to bring it all together. And he says here, therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. But if a son, then heirs of God through Christ. Come on, get a Lord of praise offer for that. Amen. I used to tell, I used to share with my uh, 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 kids, our children, uh, 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 all the time, from time to time. It's not a mistake until it, until it leads the shop. It's not a mistake until it leads the shop. What are you saying? As long as you have breath in you, it's not a mistake until it leads the shop. Yes. Glory be to God. That's Wall Green calling. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Why are you saying that, Pastor? Some of us are struggling 
with future promises. Some of us are struggling with the visions and dreams that the Lord has given you and they haven't come to pass yet. Maybe there's a possibility that we might be still up under some type of bondage called the law of this element or of this world. Have you ever noticed people who have gotten caught and if there's certain things that has been attached to them, in other words, they don't have voting privileges anymore, they cannot get a concealed weapon, one thing to the other, and, and it's hard for them to basically get a job. Mm -hmm. you, you ever noticed that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But watch this. If they really got it in them to prosper, none of that can keep them from prospering. Right. Right. I know people today who are businessmen and business uh, 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 ladies. Uh, ha things has been attached to them, glory be to God, and they're prospering. Yes. Doing well for themselves. Yes. Why? Because they refuse to allow what has been attached to them to dictate to their future. Yes. Yes. Can we turn the air condition on? Just burn it up here. <laughs> yes. Glory be to God. So the Sinatras, before I go further, I hear the Spirit of the Lord says that you've been going through like a balancing act. And in the balancing act, you, 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 you know this and you see that. You see that and you know this. And he says that the balancing act is just part of a process and it's going to add to your determination. You are coming to a real place to realize the value that once was here. It was value when it was value, but it no longer can support and aid your future promise. I hear as you lift your hands before the Lord, right where you are. I hear the Spirit of the Lord says that there's a shifting, a greater shifting that's getting ready to take place within you. And you're going to begin to see the light become broader and broader. I see you in a tunnel and I see the light, but I see at the end of the tunnel, I see it getting larger and larger, bigger and bigger. And know of a surety that the Lord is moving on your behalf. He said that your suffering, your laboring, your perseverance have not been in vain. He said he care more about your future than he does what the enemy has been whispering in your ear. He said, your future is bright. This is your year. This is your year. Sister Sinatras, you watch and see. This is your year. And when the messenger come, the messenger is going to try to discourage you, but take it like this. It's just a reminder that you're getting ready to step into your future. It's just a reminder. Can you say that? It's just a reminder. Come on and say it again. It's just a reminder. Yes. Yes. And I see that by the Spirit of the Lord. The moment a sinner is born again by the Spirit of God and become experimental, a child of God by faith in Christ, he begins to enjoy true, lasting liberty before God. As we grow in the grace and knowledge of Christ, as we mature spiritually, somebody say mature spiritually. mature spiritually. See, that's the thing right there. I can stop right there. He's taking us from faith to faith. From one, one level to another level. From faith to faith. Somebody say from faith to faith. faith, to faith. Praise God. Praise God. From faith to faith. Watch this. And, and I'm going to come back to that. I know when I went through uh, inner healing and 
uh, went through tons of inner healing. And this one particular time I went through inner healing, man, and this matter uh, came up again. I thought I was over it. But what the Lord was doing, he was taking me from faith to faith. He was causing me now to become mature in that thing. Because I thought I was okay, but it still had some, it still had a, a clench. Uh, am I saying it right? A clench. Still had a grip on me. I mean, not a, not a chokehold grip, but it was there. Yeah. But when I went through, matter of fact, it was the late uh, prophetess Penny, that thing was broken. I was no longer up under the bondage of that thing. Yes. And it released me, praise the Lord. So we begin to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Christ as we mature spiritually. We enjoy the liberty more fully, but the liberty is our uh, is our. Oh, the liberty is ours the moment we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It is both our privilege and our responsibility to walk in, enjoy, and protect this liberty which the Lord Jesus purchased for us by his blood and gave to us by the power of his grace. Hallelujah. Now, as I prepare to close, this is what I want to help us with. My first point of the message. In Christ, we are free from sin. Satan and the law. Somebody say it with me. In Christ, we're free from sin. From Satan and the law. You need to get that in your spirit. You need to get it in your spirit. In Christ, we are free from sin, Satan, and the law. See, our problem has been, and I, you know what? Let me speak concerned about myself. I know I'm born again, one thing to the other, but when I was going through, man, and praise God and things, you know, my imperfections, praise God, uh, I, was, I, I was thinking I was no more, no more worthy. And haven't you just went through repenting, you just repent and repent? Yes, God wanted us to go through repentance, but we need to know that he heard us the first time, like he did Daniel. Look, I heard you the first time. Yes, yes. yes. I'm trying to help you to maximize time, but you're still going through the same old thing. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you ought to know by now that, that when something happens, you do like this, you get back up. Yeah. <laughs> and you just keep moving. That's what the enemy is trying to trip us up from our, from our future promise. He has given us boundaries to function in, to operate in. He is our safety. Glory be to God. The Holy Spirit is stewarding over us so that we can walk into our promise, our inheritance. Amen? Amen. Praise God. This is why the liberty of grace began. Uh, this is how liberty of grace began. When a person become, when a person comes to Christ in faith, he is set free from the bondage in which all men by nature are held as prisoners and slaves. The second point is this. The Lord Christ Jesus free his people from the bondage of sin. Repeat that after me. The Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ frees his people from the bondage of sin. Watch this. Now, uh, this is good. This is good. And uh, you can find reference to that Romans the sixth chapter uh, verses 14, 18. Don't turn there now. I'm still talking. Believers are not free from the being of sin, the body of sin, or the acts of sin. Man, listening to them, them the, the, the holiness people, and listen to those people, man, back in the day, man, they made it hard to be a Christian. You hear me what I'm saying? Made it hard being a Christian. And, and man, you know, you, you, you almost afraid to take, you know, to breathe in, breathe out. You're almost afraid, man, to go to Disney World. You're almost afraid, man, to go to, you know, to go to a nice, uh, to a nice nightclub where they serve good food. Y'all playing. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, if you see Dr. Sarah and I up there in Tampa to this, to this gambling house, what they call it? 
the hard rock. I'm just going there to get me something to eat. I don't care what you think. Because people will buy you if you're not elevated in your mind. And here it is, man. I've been missing all of this good stuff. Hallelujah. You feel all stiff. You, 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 you trying to fashion yourself after them old saints. And when you walk, you walk like this. You don't know how to act. Is that real, real? See, Brother Brian, you should have been here today, man. They're using your turn for real, real. Watch this. Watch this. I'm a, can I read it again? Believers are not free from the being of sin, the body of sin, or the acts of sin. All God's elects, so long as we are in this world, have to content with sin. Watch this. But in Christ, we are no longer under the domination of sin. The guilt of sin has been removed by the blood of Christ. Can I elaborate right there? Now, I had to grow into this thing. Man, and especially when you're working out there on the job, and I worked out to the mines, right? And so uh, working out to the mines, it's, it's a community. And everybody want to know your business, and you want to know their business too. You want to hide where they're able to drive that type of automobile making the same money you make. You hear things, you know things. When you see their kids or you see, they, see they, uh, a wife or you see one thing, everybody, just know, you, you, you know their habits, you know their secrets and everything else. Okay? So, so here it is. Now, now, I'm a, now I'm saved. Sanctify and fill the Holy Spirit. And man, uh, I forget the occasion and now everybody know I'm saved. But I messed around and got teed off. about something and I exercise what, what they call one of the Sunday school words <laughs> so I told you I told you you were no Christian oh man I'm forgiven <laughs> some of y'all can't do that <laughs> somebody on aisle nine <laughs> falling they can't get up no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because I'm no longer bound by it. Our problem, if you're not careful because something happened, we allow the tentacles to hold us down when you are free. And it will hinder your future. It will hinder your promise. It will hinder your dreams, your breakthrough. It will hinder your joy. Yes, it will. Man, I had to learn that, man. Watch this. And I became a product to the exposure that I came out of. The way I heard it preached, I preached it the same way. But I didn't know that I was squeezing them in. And you know, it's one thing to stand behind this pulpit and deliver that word. And you know, your family know more about you than anybody else. Oh, Lord. Watch this. I used to hear it when I was coming up. They say, you can tell when those preachers get up there and start preaching. If you see that wife looking straight like this, her head holding down, you know he's up there lying. <laughs> so they try to put a yoke on you. Or we try to put a yoke on you that we ourselves can't bear. Oh Didn't Peter make reference to something like that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. No, I, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you that the Lord has given you a license to sin, but if something happened, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we, we get up and we do what? Keep moving. We keep moving on the path that has been set before us. 
Did you catch that? You keep moving on the path that has been set before you. And it's not measured by your success. It's not measured by my success. It's not measured by nobody's success, but what God has purposed for you. Somebody say, I'm free. free. Come on and shout, I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to hate to walk around certain sinks, man. Praise God. And especially to those who I had categorized that they, you know, that they're very discerning in one thing to the other, man. Mm -mm. In Walmart, man, you on aisle nine. And something about aisle nine, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And you on aisle nine, glory be to God, and you see them coming. I go get, get on out the way, praise the Lord. And because of the mere fact, they never had nothing good to say. Amen. Say, what's going on with you? I see something in your eyes. Okay, well, you trying to tell me something that I already know? I need you to help me. Throw me a lifesaver. Yeah. Come on and say amen, somebody. Amen. This is a strange message, but it's going to help us get our breakthrough so we can get out of the box. It's going to help us so that we can arise to the occasion and function as a king priest. We should have more than what we have right now as far as wealth is concerned. And wealth consists of what? Everything. Amen. We should be the what? Lenders and not the borrowers. Isn't that right? If there's if there's any influence, we should be the greater influence in this earth realm to give opportunity to those who are going through. And then as they begin to receive it, then we can tell them how we got it. Feed them first and then minister to them. Praise God. And it may not be a big Mac meal. It might be just giving a good ear. It might be just loving on them. You hear me what I'm saying? I, I, and I don't think she mind me sharing this. Um, Minister Pam is doing a great job now and it looks like great things are happening for her. You know, she normally run that camera, uh, but, uh, but things are happening for her. And, uh, and she uh, shared something with me. Uh, blase, 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 pastor, blah, 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 blah. I, and, and in other words, this patient uh, really has shut down and wasn't saying anything. I say, next time you go, sing some songs. Sang some songs, sang a song, but she didn't sing a song. She played some music. And that individual began to come out of that way of thinking and become vibrant. You got to what? Feed them first. Don't try to measure nobody by yourself. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You hear me share all the time, you know, that, uh, 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 that I knew of this person. He used to say all the time to his parishioners, uh, look, uh, you, you should measure yourself by me, by my success. Because you're successful, it don't mean that you got it right. God shine on the just just as well as the unjust. And he rained on it. Look, I need, I need the sun and I, and I need the rain because I got seed in the ground. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So, so, so watch this. So, so therefore... Uh, 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 we got to feed them before we're able to minister to them. All right. Uh, the other one is this. I'm just about through. In salvation, the Lord Jesus also delivered his people from the power of Satan. Can you repeat that after me? In salvation, the Lord Jesus also delivered his people from the power of Satan. Yeah, you need to get, get it in your spirit. Get it in your spirit. I had a crazy dream four days this morning. And, and, and it's strange, man, because I was kind of wrestling with this message. And, and, and the enemy has all kind of ways to, to confirm that what you're getting ready to do is of God. Because he would try to get the message. And man, in this dream, man, it was just crazy. I said, man, and I found myself breathing crazy, and, you know, and, all, and I didn't like what was going on. It was trying to make me frustrated, trying to make me aggravated. And I woke up this morning, and, uh, and so uh, uh, I got up, so forth and so on. I began to ponder on it, and in the pondering, it came back to me, you're getting ready to minister on when the fullness of time come. Your message is going to help people in the crevices, in the cracks, and in the corners. Everybody knows where the center is. Everybody wants the center. Everybody wants to be in, be in the center of things. But it's the corner cracks and the crevices is where the enemy 
has a long tentacle connected and trying to keep us from going forth. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I dealt with that, and then I said, okay, good. And, uh, and on the way walking out of the house, I, I shared with uh, uh, Dr. Sandra, I said, man, it's like somebody had given me a, 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 a local anesthetist or something, man, anesthesia, rather, because I just felt so wiped out. But that was a good thing because at my age, you know a thing or two because you see a thing or two. <laughs> and you know that delivering the word is going to help somebody. So uh, in salvation, the Lord Jesus also delivered his people from the power of Satan. By nature, the devil holds a, uh, holds a usurp uh, dominion over all men, binding them, blinding them deceiving them and take them captive at his will to do his bidding. In salvation, the spirit of God dethrones Satan. I hear this so loud. I don't know who you are. Whatever you're going through in your mind, if it keep coming to your mind and, 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 and the enemy is trying to keep you, keep you bound, just begin to call on the name of Jesus. If you have to put a pillow over your mouth, scream it out. Do you hear me what I'm saying? How many of you have ever just fell to sleep? You know, you went to sleep and then an old folk used to say, you can't wake up. It's like a witch riding your back and you're trying to say, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, y'all never did that. Let me talk to Rick. You ever did that before? Well, you don't know. Let me, let me go over here. Let me go over here. Yeah. And you feel that thing on you, man. Glory be to God. And, and you, you, you know, I, I knew then I was saved because I wasn't cussing trying to get it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so you, you're trying to say, you trying to say, if I can just say Jesus. And man, and, and, and your efforts is going to bring you to your conclusion. You're going to say Jesus. And the moment you say Jesus, that thing lift off of you, man. So what are you saying? Whatever you're going through in your mind, I want you to start calling on the name of Jesus. So you're looking for all this long theor uh, uh, theoretical point of view. You're looking for books and volumes when it's real simple. Amen. Call on Jesus. Call on Yeshua. Call on the anointed one. Amen. I mean, just call him. It's a secure package. Why? Because he's salvation. Okay, in salvation, the spirit of God dethrones Satan. He enters the heart of God's elect, binding the strong man and takes his house. He turns men and women from the power of Satan to God and translates us from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Thus, the believer is no longer a slave to Satan to do his work and lust. We are not yet free from the temptation of the devil or his roar, but we shall never be devoured, devoured by him. All of us can, can say everything I went through with, even in my worstest time when I had spoke sentence on my own self, but the next day I woke up and that was a proven fact that the enemy cannot devour me. I, share, I don't know why I'm going this route, man. Watch this. I, I shared as you guys have heard it before. Man, when I was going through those seven years of brokenness, man, and, when it, and I slipped in, I was slipping in this semi coma. And I was in this hole, man. I was in this hole, dark hole, damp, dark. And I'm trying to find a place to lay down because I remember what my grandfather said. He did the same thing. Instead, he... He left out of the house that night, four day that morning, and he laid by the hog pen because he knew that when they go to slop the hog, they would find him dead. Well, I was down and I found the place and I laid down. And man, I was at the end of my wits. And lo and behold, man, a cloud came over the, uh, over the hole. And I could hear my, uh, my mother's voice crying out, calling out to me. Make a long story short, her crying out to me represented the voice of God. The enemy thought he had me. I thought he had me. We go through stuff, y'all, but he couldn't devour me. If the enemy tried to eat you, he'd have to just spit you out. The whale did the same thing with, uh, what, what, what his name? Jonah. 
He had to spit him out because he couldn't handle it. He'll spit you out. Why? Because the Lord has a covenant with you. Touch your neighbor and say, you have a covenant promise. And we are the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Can we get the Lord Jesus Christ a praise offering for that? He has translated us from darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. I rest in that. I do. We're joint heirs to his kingdom. We have an inheritance. Some things we're going through, we're going through the process to step into that place of promise. And when we get there, everybody's going to know that we're there. Because the countenance, the strength, the joy, the confidence, and the assurance is going to be there so that we can overtake what the Lord has already given us. And to me, that's very, very powerful. Can we lift our hands in this midst? Come breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, sweet spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender. Love. Ooh, Jesus, I adore. 